Welcome everyone to the Anything Vlog, where I vlog about everything and anything. I'm Evo 8 Rich, and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be installing a Torque Solution short shifter on my Evo 8 GSR. So before we get started, let me go ahead and show you the uh, tools that we're going to use. All right, what we got here is a flat and Phillips screwdriver, flat and Phillips head, 14 millimeter, 10 and 12 millimeter. This is 10 and 12 a uh, ratchet 10 12 14 socket and some uh, pliers and a flashlight so I can show you guys some of the spots it's gonna probably be dark uh, this is the short shifter here if you didn't see the video before it's a torque solution short shifter it's supposed to be 35% uh, throw reduction and it's supposed to be 1.5 inch height reduction as well this is the uh, OEM um, shift uh, retainer that I had to put on I have to put on because when I well, you'll see when I get to it the other one will have to be cut off so I wanted to get a new one I don't want to have to cut put a cut piece on obviously a sticker these are the housing bushings that go in you'll see that as well and uh, that's it that's pretty much all the parts like I said this is a 03 maybe I didn't say that 2003 Evo 8 okay so first what we're gonna do is hopefully you can see here is you'll have to remove two screws that are underneath the CD. So I'll remove the CDs and it will take this section will come out. Once this section is out, there's two screws under here. I'll remove those two screws and then this section will come out. Obviously, you have to take the gear shift off the knob. And there's two screws that are actually underneath this ashtray. So there's two screws here and two screws here. When you pop it off the down of the foot uh, down there the pedals there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that going and uh, come back when I have this section off. Okay, I got the two screws loose. I thought I'd show you better. See, there's actually two screws inside here, right there, and that enables, and that loosens that, and enables you to take, you have to put the gear, uh, the brake down, and that will enable you to remove this piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that piece now. Okay, it's coming out now. You gotta make sure that you take the plug. See that plug right there? That plug actually connects to the water spray. For the intercooler so you have to make sure that you take that out so this is the first piece that comes out take that piece out like that so you take those two screws loose take out the ashtray and there's a screw down in the ashtray as well that screw right there you take that one out and then that, this part should come out too take the gear shift knob off of course okay now i got the middle section out Put that aside. Okay, you get that out. Now this is what you're left with. You're gonna have to remove this bolt here and this bolt here. Okay. You see there's an Allen on this side, which I forgot I have to get an Allen wrench. So you move this bolt here and this bolt here. These are the four bolts that are for the carriage, which you do at the end. And then you remove, this is the old retainer. And you see, it, I'll show you when I get it out, it's not going to come off past this piece. So it has to stay on there. That's why I need a new one. But I'm going to go ahead and take this bolt out, this bolt out, which loosens this retain, which loosens this uh, um, the shift retainer. And then I'll be able to take the linkage off, which is here. Once I loosen these, the linkage will come off. You'll have a snap down here on the bottom. And you have to release this little spring here which makes this come out of the socket. And then we'll get it all out, all right? All right, guys, got it out now. Okay, so there is a uh, linkage down here. You gotta disconnect right there. Obviously, you take the two bolts on the top. You take out the part on the bottom that holds the linkage there. And you take out that assembly, that spring assembly there. That's the unconnected to the other bolt. OEM, shifter with the retainer on top. As you see, the retainer is not going to come past this piece. That's why you need the new one. Because otherwise you'd have to cut it and then you'd be have a cut piece. The next thing that has to happen is you have to take these little pieces off. You just pop them off, put them on here. Obviously put this on top and put it all back together. So I'm going to go ahead and take these things off and then put, put them on here. All right, now I'm going to put these pieces on. They should just pop right on. Hopefully you can see this. 
Okay, there's one. There's the other. All right, we got it done. Just be really careful when you take this spring out because I got the spring out and I couldn't remember how it went. So you have to really take a close uh, eye on this when you take it out. Make sure it doesn't get all twisted up. But there's, there it is, it's assembled. So you got everything connected underneath. That's in, springs are in, everything. So you see how it shifts. First gear, second, third, fourth, fifth, and reverse. So all the gears look good, working good. I put some uh, white grease on those little plastic pieces. I think it's a good idea. Neutral. But yeah, it, uh, it's all done, so now I'm going to put the, uh, uh, back, everything back together, and then uh, we'll give it a drive down the road and see how it is. All right, guys, next step. I almost forgot. you got to take these rubber grommets out of the corners here in all four corners, and then what you do is you put these. These are two-piece deal. They have a, a notch in them. You put one going up like with the notch and the other one going down. Does have one down there already. Put the one down at the bottom like so fits in the groove and then you put the other one on top put the other one right on top and then you put the bolt in there now these are easier to get out these grommets if you take the center there's a metal piece in the middle if you take it out then you can push these out otherwise they're hard to get out this is a little metal piece that is in the middle so if you push this out then you can push that little rubber out so all I gotta do is put those in each uh, corner Tighten it down. I'm going to take it for a test drive before I put everything back together, and then uh, we'll move on from there. All right, guys, I'm in the car now, as you can see. Um, you can see, uh, probably, could, I don't know if you can tell or not, but this is how much shorter this is, it, how much, it, how, the height is like an inch and a half shorter. So you can clearly see how much shorter it is. I'm going to do some shifting. I'm going to try to get my hand on this side so you can actually see the, the stick. And... Um, can uh, check it out see how short it is see how short the gears are really close all right so hopefully the camera doesn't fall let's try this I'm not gonna go real fast I just want you to see how it, how it looks is that second right there nice and close third real close real nice and close works out real good so now we'll head back and uh, Put his head on back now, I gotta turn around. No, oh, you guys fell down. I was gonna do a U-turn and get back to the uh, back over to the house. But... All right guys, that's gonna do it. Hopefully you liked the video and you got something out of it. I know some of it was hard to see. I apologize for that, because it's hard for me to hold the camera and do everything at the same time. But hopefully you got something out of it and that you uh, could see what I was doing. Uh, it's like 35% throw, it's supposed to be 35% uh, less, and it's uh, 1 1.5, one and a half inches uh, shorter and you can clearly see it's shorter. So it's not a very hard install. I would just suggest, uh, word to the wise that they'd say, um, make sure you really keep an eye on that spring the way it goes because I didn't and it took me probably about an hour to figure out how it went. So I know better than that. So take pictures and look at it really closely. Other than that, it's a pretty easy install. It's no big deal. So like I said, I hope you uh, liked the video. I hope you got something out of it. All right, so that's gonna do it for this one. So if you liked the video, please hit the like. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, if you would share my video, I'd appreciate it a lot. It really helps me. All right, guys, thanks a lot for sticking around. Stay, thanks for sticking with me, my subscribers. I, I really appreciate every one of you guys. And um, hopefully, if you're not a subscriber, you become a new one, and that would be awesome. Uh, so I'm not going to do the springs. I'm uh, sorry, I'm not going to do the uh, clamps on the intake today because I want to make sure that they fit, so I have to check real, before I do that. And so that will probably be another video for another day. All right, so uh, like I said, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys somewhere else. See you guys somewhere else? <laughs> I'll see you guys, well, I'll be somewhere else doing something else. All right, bye.